Hey, welcome back, guys, with another one. Boy Suave here from the Liberators, and I'm just here to give you another quick My Hero update video. So let's get right into it. All right, so as you guys can see, I definitely like switch things around just because we had to do some minor construction over here. So I'll show you how the wall looks now. So you know, I kind of moved a little bit of things around, not too crazy. You know, we got the Deku's, the Bakugos, Art, the Shoto, and we got the Kirishima's here. So let's start with the newest one, actually, because actually this is brand new. This is one that Effa did recently of Kirishima and Mina. This was, I believe, leave a green arrow pose with mockingbird but this is still a real dope picture i really like the detailing in kirishima's gear and mina's uh, hero suit i mean if, if you guys haven't noticed it's like a running theme of what i'm trying to do so definitely with the hero suits that's definitely something i'm really i really do like about this so i just think to sick both of these together then we're going to move down to the next one that i have is uh the denki and jiro so this is the newest one that effa did on on a denki and jiro that's basically nightwing and batwoman position to me it just fit perfectly with jiro and denki and their ship how they are denki's always saying positive things about jiro always trying to bring her up so i just felt like this is totally denki right here in this smooth position and then underneath we kind of have the Sien and Yui. I mean a lot of people ask me in my messages, you know, what's my favorite ship? So this is why I kind of changed it around to kind of put like my top six ships right here going down the line. Of course my last one and my number six is my created ship because, you know, I've really been seeing the interest from the fans and the positive comments back from it. So it just makes me feel good that this ship was something that I wanted to get pushing out there and it seems like it is. So now we're going to move up. So I ended up moving. I know it seems like every time I'm moving the Mirio art all over again. It's like I can't get a good grasp of where Mirio is going to be at. So for right now, this is where Mirio is going to be. Then we have the Cero and the Ibari. And then down here we have some finally some new artwork to again show you guys. This is Shinso and Kendo. I know this is a random ship and a lot of you guys always ask why I paired the two and uh, honestly the reason why I just felt like they honestly are a good ship together I think Kendo is good for Shinso because Shinso kind of struggles with what it is to be a hero he's still in the, the mindset of me 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 and you can see in the last season he's still trying to per, uh, learn what it is to be a hero and I feel like Kendo will be that perfect reminder for him to keep him in line and to kind of keep him in check and to show him what it is to be a hero so to go into further detailing of the art this is a gambit and rogue position. Why I picked this position, honestly, I don't know. I just really thought it was dope. I got Shinso here in a Zawa's hero suit. And the funny thing about why I did it was because, number one, you guys remember that I do have a Funko Pop that I created myself, which is right here, Shinso in the Zawa suit himself. So that was one of the main reasons why I wanted to do it was, you know, yeah, obviously I wanted to have Shinso in a drawing form of him in the Zawa suit. But not only that, Aizawa was the one who trained Shinso and kind of gets him a fighting style. At this point in time, when I put the commission in, we didn't have any like sneak peeks of Shinso's hero suit. Now we do. Hirokoshi did put out a little picture of Shinso. It's like a four or five people picture and Shinso's all the way at the end. And he teased his hero suit a little bit. And I was right in putting him in the Aizawa suit because his outfit did look like Aizawa. And I figured that just because Aizawa was the one that trained him. So I knew his hero suit wasn't going to be too far off of Aizawa. I think the only thing different is his sleeves are tucked in and he has some different like stylish boots and he wears gloves. Maybe that's something that I am, well not maybe, that is something that I am looking of doing is probably another Shinso one with his hero suit. Probably I'll look to get two of them, but for right now this is the Shinso section. And uh, like I said, I'm getting, a, I got a bunch of different Shinso ones just because I've been trying to lock down his hero suit. And now that we finally got to like look at it, now Effa can really use that to the best that she can to kind of like bring that out. Now I do want to go back up real quick and talk about the Sero and Ibari ship. So recently, recently, Effa sent me a picture of the My Hero Academia latest movie trailer for the third movie and they had an interesting little clip in the trailer of Sarah and Abari standing together and Effa was you know she quickly sent it to me as soon as it dropped while I was at work just letting me know like look this is the ship that we created a lot of people were saying that it don't make sense and now they finally getting some screen time together so I was happy about that too because you know I have been putting some kind of wonky ships together but I promise you they will make sense once we get to story time and I start explaining why 
I put them shifts together. But I'm really happy the fact that, you know, maybe somewhere someone saw one of the Effa's fan arts or hell, maybe one of my videos and they decided to put that because they liked it, the ship. So that's really exciting and maybe there's a chance for Ken and Yui if we push hard enough. All right, let's go back into what's new. So I did kind of give y'all a little tease by going down and showing the Sien and Yui. The next new one, and this one I really like. Like, I mean, obviously, if I had to rank them off of the newest ones, it's definitely a tie with Jiro and Denki and Mina and Kirishima. Just because these are like, these are some of my top favorite ships of the of this show. They're in my top five. So, of course, they're going to be my favorite ones to get done. But this one's definitely leading in in second place. I mean, just the detailing in this picture and just the fact that it, it, everything makes sense. So we have Tetsu Tetsu using his steel armor quirk and he's blocking bullets here like Colossus. And this is what this picture is a reference of Colossus and Kitty Pride. And then you got Setsuna here. I think that's how you say her name. And she's got her lizard quirk and you know her lizard quirk allows her to cut her limbs and to still be able to use them so you see her arms a little cut and she's still able to use it it's still floating and they're in the action pose and I just love the detailing Effa put here like I didn't notice that he had some writing on his earpiece the FE and then he has some Chinese writing in the back or some Japanese lettering uh, my bad but I don't know what it says I think it says real steel but just in terms of how it's all coming together I mean this looks real sick and then down here we kind of have like my my I guess my least favorite pairs of the group or just ones that are just like one and dones. But if you guys want to see some more ideas of these two ships and my third newest piece, you know, just let me know in the comment section down below. And well, you know, maybe we'll work on something. You know, again, let me know in the comments. But to get back into it, this is the last one. We have Ojiro and I think his name is Shoji. The reason why I put this pair in this picture is because honestly, when I watch my Academia. Ojiro reminds me so much of like Iron Fist and he's just like a background character that you know I am personally tell myself he's probably like a black belt in karate because he has the karate suit man he has to have some type of like mean fighting style so I compare him to like uh, an Iron Fist type and then you got Shoji in the back and he's supposed to be like Luke Cage where that's his muscle as well and you see him in the Luke Cage flexing position but that's definitely where my idea is going with it's like both of them started throwing own little hero team and they're like uh, heroes for hire like like Luke Cage and Iron Fist so that's a little tease to my fan story these two end up becoming uh, vigilantes and are actually heroes for hire with some more other ones I don't want to give it all away but I'll just give it to you that there are two people of that team the detailing in the arms of Shoji to me is just sick because his arms are the most hardest thing to draw, honestly. And the fact that Effa put both of them in there and it actually looks like it makes sense is the best part, honestly. So we're going to scroll this back and show you guys everything so far that we have for this wall right here. I guess I should go. <laughs> this is up. And then we still got some empty space. And, you know, we've been doing some construction here on the channel. That's why I didn't really get to record too much in the last couple of weeks. So just to show you guys what I mean, give me a second. I'm going to show you guys. So this is something I've been working on. If you guys can see, we got the My Hero shelf lighting up right here. Still got to figure out something for the top to get the top piece to glow. But we do have the My Hero Academia logo and that's glowing in the dark. Just a little bit. I got to figure out how to sharpen the glow up of that a little bit more. Let's actually get one of these lights around here so you can actually see some of these pops. And there we go. So I put some lighting around them. I might get some more depending on how it works out for us. And then I'll also tease maybe what will be coming in my next video is my vote. I haven't really been showing this part of my room just because I'm st it's still in construction. So you see we boarded it up actually to help, you know, secure my vote even more. And that's what actually made me have to change pictures were because we actually put a piece of wood here that was actually getting into the picture so we needed to take everything down so I was finally able to do that and I also put some lights in here too but I'll go through the lights and everything about this vote <laughs> once we get in here but this is a little tease of what's potentially coming next we got the vote here so basically guys that was it for the My Hero Academia video you know look out for the next one we're gonna have I believe six new amazing pieces and can't wait to hang them up and you know discuss my my hero wall with you guys in terms of the story time story time is still in development i promise you guys stick with me i will have story time up and about and for those of you who don't know i've been teasing story time for a, a little bit it's something that i'm actually working with fi i actually have two fan stories 
that actually make my wall make a little more sense. I've been thinking about this for a while, and F has been helping me do some scenes and some covers and some things like that. So once all those start coming in, and I have all everything that I need, then we'll start doing the story time and discussions, so I can actually start explaining a lot of more of this stuff. And we'll go into like teams and like what goes on with that. So you know, be on the lookout for that. That's going to be dropping probably, hopefully within the next month or two. But I'll keep you guys updated as things move on. And then I'll also try to do out that vote video like I showed you guys. Because that's something also real epic that I'm just <laughs> just holding in my back pocket. Like showing you guys the rest of my Funko inventory for I guess 2021 until I start getting some new ones. In terms of like last little quick updates, I just want to say again I'm real hyped about the My Hero Academia movie actually having Sarah and Abari. Again, I'm going to put it right here. And the movie with their first scene, that was actually, that made me smile. That was real sick. And it did make me feel like maybe me and F are putting things out in the universe and they're watching like, hey, that's not a bad idea. So if you're watching, you know what I mean, pay attention to my son and Yui stuff. That's coming up too. Also, guys, I, you know, I just wanted to drop some real quick Funko Pop news. The rumors that are going on right now is that there will be another My Hero Pop dropping soon. It looks like Fat Gum is finally getting a pop for the Comic Con that's coming up in 2021. This summer actually it should be dropping pretty soon. It looks like it is. The guy that I trust said he's 90% sure that it will, so I take his word for that. He's, you know, unfortunately he probably just won't be up here because I'm still trying to work on my my shelf in the background. I might change it around depending on what what happens. But like I said, you know, it, it's not one of the class A students. Like I I would have loved if they dropped the Shoto in his hero suit as the Comic Con pop, and I I buy the shit out of it because that's how bad I wanted that one to, to finish off my shelf. And the, or if they would have dropped it like a Denki or a Jiro, like you know I would have went crazy for it. But anything not named them or like Mirio and Amajiki, like I'm I'm cool with. Or even if they would have did a Kami one, I would have been hyped just because it helps my wall. And my goal eventually is to have all those pictures, me to have the Funko Pop pairs for them too. I mean, I doubt they'll do the Class 1B, but if they do start doing Class 1B, you know, your boys won't be here for it. But in terms of like any other pop, we're still waiting on the Black Clover. We're still waiting on it's my Hero Wave set. That's rumored to have Amajiki and Mirio in their hero suits, so they are on the way. My best guess is they're probably going to just drop them all at Comic-Con. They're going to drop you the picture of Fat Gum and they're going to drop you the next uh, My Hero Wave. They're going to say coming soon and they're going to drop everything. Like if they have some exclusives, if they have to kind of fill it up. And I think with uh, the Naruto, they actually, I think Naruto might be the same thing. And I actually am going Baruto. I think Baruto will be the same thing where they drop like one or two exclusive pops. I think two maybe for Naruto, but I think only one for Baruto if they even do one. Just because of the fact that they're probably going to do two Naruto exclusive ones. Let's turn on the other light too. Yeah, man. I don't be talking all in the dark. So I definitely do think that the next wave of Naruto pops are going to end up getting announced. And I think that's the one with Kid Naruto and this other dude who's like a background character. And I for honestly forget who was. I think he was in this set. And there's like one other person. But Mike guy. But I think that one might get announced. And I think Asuma's pop might be the Comic-Con pop. That's what I'm going. It might be a weak Comic-Con this year. But I'm, I'm still going to grab it. And I'm still crossing my fingers and hoping that we get this Jinbei pop too for One Piece. There's been nothing about it. But I'm still hoping and praying that Jinbei eventually becomes a pop. And I can finish off my One Piece Pirate Crew shelf. But that's all for now, guys. I just wanted to give you guys a quick little update. So don't forget to like the video. Comment down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and you like the content that I'm putting out. Until the next one, guys, I hope you guys enjoy. Have a good day. All right, peace. Love you.